While the former president um, and his legal woes are growing by the day, contributing editor at Vanity Fair, Chris Smith, writes this. Uh, president Biden is making a bold bet that Trump's indictments will speak for themselves. And so the White House and Democrats are mostly staying quiet. But is it a risky strategy or just part of Biden's genius? And the author of that piece, contributing editor at Vanity Fair, Chris Smith, um, is joining me now. Chris, thanks for joining me on this. I appreciate it. I, I really enjoyed um, reading your piece. And it's a question that I've been asking over and over again, quite frankly, on the air, which is, should the president be addressing what is happening with his predecessor, um, especially as it seems more and more as if Donald Trump is going to be securing this nomination? Um, and I want to read a little bit more of your piece um, as we talk about this for folks um, to understand. Um, and, and you write this. So here is a radical thought. Maybe Joe Biden knows what he's doing. This time around, he'll also be able to boast a record of delivering tangible results for millions of Americans on things like lower drug prices and higher wages. Still, there will come a time in next year's campaign when Biden needs to address viscerally, not legalistically, how his predecessor's rule-breaking matters beyond the courtroom and the dangers of what Trump would do with the power of a second Term. And that is certainly something that has come up over and over on this year, especially. I'm wondering, as you're speaking with Biden advisors, um, writing this piece as well, is that part of the plan to take a turn as we get deeper into the 24 race? Yeah, thanks for having me. All that sounds so much smarter when you read it, you know, rather than me <laughs> just typing it. Um, Yes. I mean, they make several points to me that it's September 2023. You know, most Americans are not paying close attention to next year's presidential election, that there's plenty of time to focus on Trump legal issues. And then we really don't know, you know, what tr Trump's legal issues will be three months from now, six months from now. There's supposed to be a New York trial. This fall, there's supposed to be a trial in Georgia in March. Um, and all those things will continue, they believe, to send the message, you know, that Trump is a lawbreaker, rule breaker, can't be trusted to run the country again. What Democrats and, uh, frankly, I find somewhat unnerving is when uh, pop Biden advisors say to me, well, Americans all know about Donald Trump's legal issues. Americans are busy, mm. you know, Americans have lots going on. Some of these cases, aside from the Florida documents case, are hard to explain. So assuming that we, the media, are going to do the job of explaining why these cases are, are bad for someone running for president of the United States to have been involved in, you know, that risks complacency that Americans are going to understand on their own, you know, not that they're incapable of understanding, but that they just will pick it all up from the media on their own. Now, they do see a point where next spring, next summer, assuming Trump is the nominee, they are going to hit hard on this idea that Trump means chaos, you know, that uh, whatever the verdicts by that point, whatever the mm. indictments by that point, Trump is chaos, Biden is calm and normalcy. And why I write that, you know, maybe Joe Biden really does know what he's doing is that he's been proven correct electorally twice now. He won in 2020. The Democrats did extraordinarily better in the midterms than the conventional wisdom would have it. So, you know, it's not just Biden, it's Anita Dunn, it's Mike Donilon, it's, you know, other top advisors who believe that there's plenty of time to talk about Trump's legal troubles and the greater message is about chaos versus stability. And then what about folks like Sherrod Brown, John Tester as well, right? They, they, they are obviously in states that were won by Trump. How, how do they play this as they get closer and closer to an election? You know, th that's exactly right. They not only have their own races to think about, but those, particularly Ohio, is going to be an enormously important state in the Electoral College again. They, like Biden, believe the most powerful message is talking about what they, as legislators, what the president, as the executive, has delivered uh, for 
ordinary Americans, you know, kind of kitchen table issues, lowering prescription drug prices, you know, increasing um, employment, you know, the uh, improvement to some extent in wages. So, you know, we uh, are doing the job that government is supposed to do. We're not fighting the culture mm -hmm. war issues. And that's all that Trump wants to do. He's selfish. He's not about you. You know, you see that in Biden's advertising already. All right, Chris Smith for us. Thank you, Chris. Really good piece. Um, by the way, if you can read it um, in Vanity Fair.